What's up guys, my name is Everett Smith and welcome again to my channel at Easy NYC Real Estate and today I'm going to do something a little bit different from talking about real estate. I am going to do a review on this standing desk. I just wanted to share my experience with it so far because right now we're all working from home and everyone has some different setups. I want to show you a couple of the features on it and some of the things that make it worthwhile. I'll share with you some of the pain points that I've been having with this desk and I will give an overall grade at the end for how I think it's doing. So first off, here is the desk in all of its glory. As you can see, I have a monitor mounted to the top level. This first bottom level is actually two different panels. This was one of the reasons why I got it in the first place. You have the knobs to adjust the height of the desk, as well as some wheels and a shelf for if you have a desktop unit, you could actually put it right in that space. I use it basically for storage, but that's about it. You have a spot where you can actually, you can put pens or something in here. It is meant to stop your computer from breaking and sliding off the floor. In this little space, there are holes. Um, so what I've been using it is for charging and putting my phone in this slot. My phone fits perfectly in there. It may not fit for a thicker phone or if you have a larger case on it, but it's perfect to you know, have my wire hook it up right to the bottom of this. And this is actually really good if I'm doing some kind of FaceTime or call with someone because I can even tilt it backward if I'm standing or I can even tilt it forward if I'm sitting. And that is just another small helpful feature as well. So what I normally do is leave the top and the back level just because I have a monitor that adjusts up and down and I can angle that any way I need to. But if I want to adjust this, this part so that I can either sit or stand, that is one of the key things that has been a pain point for me. So the, the best way to do this is to really just kind of go at it at the same time and you know, you, it's going to it's going to adjust on you. Uh, there's no way to stop that. You really gotta use two hands and a significant amount of strength like that. Um, one side at a time. Oh, you yeah, see, like I did it the wrong way, so now I have to. And then here's another side. All right, there. And it looks like I got it perfectly sometimes you don't level the desk perfectly it just so happens that this time around for the recording of this video i was able to do it with absolutely no issues whatsoever but i tend to find myself spending at least i'd say two to five minutes to actually get the desk to a level that is perfectly even on both sides when everything is fully extended I do notice that there's a little bit more shake than when things are closer to the ground or as low as possible. So I love standing at my desk. I've noticed that I've had a lot less back pain as well as a lot more energy because I can dance around and you know stand at my desk and like be free, kick my legs out if I need to. But I was looking for, like I said, portability, functionality, and all for an affordable price. There was actually one issue. It's in the instructions where the desk setup is pretty much arranged for if you are a lefty on the mouse. These panels actually would have been flipped if I didn't catch this issue. Their service team actually is very responsive, believe it or not. They acknowledge their mistake and they realize like, wow, we've been doing this for all of the desks that we've created and not a single person has pointed this out to us. They're gonna make the switch, which is awesome for anyone else that buys this desk after the fact. When it comes to grading materials that I use, I graded on a, a couple of key scales, which is functionality, how much am I gonna use this, is it making my life easier, and the price of it all. This desk gets a solid B+. I would even give it an A- minus if there was a way I could potentially mark these bars so that I could know where to adjust it every time to make sure that I had the right fit or the right adjustment every time, but you know, it's okay. It's okay. So thank you so much for taking the time out to view this video. If you thought this was helpful or if you think you know someone else that might also find this helpful, 
please like it and share it with a friend. Thank you so much, and I'll see you soon. If you are still watching until this point, I just want to say thank you so much. I really appreciate it. All the watch time for the YouTube Gods Matters. I'm going to include my subscribe link up here so you can take a look at that and get all notifications when I post a new video. Uh, I do my own listing videos, and those are the videos that I normally make, which are going to be down here in a playlist. And if you want to see my most recent video, which is most likely a listing video, I'm going to include it right here for you. So I appreciate you taking the time out to listen to this point, and I will see you there.